Carbon fiber, carbon fiber, carbon fiber, carbon fiber, carbon fiber. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to be finishing up the carbon fiber video we started last time. Um, if you missed the last video, I'll link it up here. Um, it goes over the process of making the mold for these. Um, it's been a couple weeks since I've uploaded because this project took a lot longer than I wanted to. Um, anyways, let's get into it. All right, so this video is going to be a little bit less of a how-to and more of just sharing my experience and tips and tricks I picked up along the way. I did end up with a few air bubbles in the gel coat on my mold, so I had to get those fixed before I could start with the carbon fiber. The more imperfections you can fix now, the less you're going to have to deal with in the end. So after you get your holes filled, sand, wet sand, and polish that thing up. You're going to want to put some resin in the mold first and then lay your carbon on top of it and use a brush to push the resin up through the carbon. You're going to want to limit how much you drag the brush across the fiber because that can distort the weave pattern. Also try to avoid pushing the bristles of the brush straight down into the fabric. That will distort your weave as well. Now my first attempt at this, I had a couple parts that had some massive air bubbles circled here in red. It wasn't something that I wanted to spend 20 hours fixing, so I opted to redo it and try something else. I picked up these vacuum bags off of Amazon and I'm going to just say right now they worked a treat. Now even with the vacuum bags I did end up with some small air bubbles but those are easily fixed with a little bit of tape and a small batch of resin. You just put the tape on to act as like a small dam so the resin doesn't get all over the place and then you just drizzle some in behind it with a popsicle stick or something. After you fill your holes you're going to want to Sand down all your imperfections and get everything flush and looking good. I started with 240 grit and worked my way up to a thousand and then I put my polisher to it. Now this should go without saying but wear your safety stuff when you're cutting this stuff because it's not something you want to be breathing in. Also carbon dust conducts electricity so don't be a dumbass and cut next to your laptop like I did. Alright guys, so I want to talk a little bit about this jig I made. Um, basically, I marked where uh, the mounting hardware is supposed to go and uh, drilled holes at the appropriate size and angle so that I could get the uh, bolts epoxied onto the back of the new piece um, and those just uh, slide in like that easy peasy this part of the video isn't really a tip or a trick 
but after working on it for three weeks, this part was so satisfying watching the gloss finally come out onto these parts when I put a layer of epoxy on them. I haven't decided for sure yet, but I was thinking about maybe making a batch of 10 pairs of these and uh, offering them to the Supra community, but I think I need to refine my process a little bit more before I do that. Maybe try a pre-preg carbon fiber or a real vacuum bagging process. Might make things a little bit better. Don't get me wrong, these look good, but only from about five feet away. We're gonna get these put on the car, so I'm gonna just go ahead and snap my fingers and it'll magically be done. Not too bad if I do say so myself. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for this one, guys. Do me a favor and hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss future uploads. Bye.